the referee trying to move Super Destroyer back. Jimmy Hart there, he's not any help at all. Baller half in the ring, half out on the apron. Super Destroyer down on the floor. Count him out. Yeah. Back out on the floor now. And the destroyer with all that oh, pounding with a fist has got a cut opened up. Boy, I mean right on that eye. Oh. Into the ring post again. Yeah, he's going to get disqualified too. Destroyer with a fist. Coming up on the five minute mark. Boy, his right eye is closed with blood, Dave. All right. Super Destroyer, relentless. He's attacking Lawler. He's got his eye cut open. Calhoun checking the uh, cut. Uh, He slammed him into that ring post and has been banging him. He's cut. I didn't get a good look, Dave, but it looks like his eyelid is cut. Oh, Jerry, hanging on the middle rope and the top rope. Super Destroyer. Only knocks him out onto the apron all the way. How about our time? We are very close to six minutes, five minutes, 50 seconds right now. He's still got a long way to go. Referee Jerry Calhoun checking that eye again. And Lawler slumped back into the ring turnbuckles. the eye and he said stop it Super Destroyer go bopping out of here. And it's going to go down as an official win for the Super Destroyer. Uh, Jerry Lawler coming out. And Jerry, if we can... Yeah, come on over here and, uh, and sit down. Did you get the eye cleaned up? And, mm. Well, I know it was a, a major disappointment. I, I must say that I think the referee had to use his judgment on it and uh, stop the bout because the cut is, it's down on, yeah, it's on the lid. Well, let me just say this, Lance. I've had a lot of cut heads before and I've had cuts over my eye before. And I want you to know, I, I will, this will leave a scar that, you know, they don't wash away and they don't uh -huh. go away with time. I want Jimmy Hart to realize it. <coughs> every time I look at this, I have the scar from now till the day I die. And every time I look at this scar, I'll think of you, Hart, and your super destroyer. Now, I know that, uh, Lance, you and the fans have seen me come out here a lot of times and rant and rave and scream and yell and <coughs> want to add a match when I'm mad as heck at somebody, but I'm not going to be doing any screaming or yelling. But I, I am mad, Lance, but I'm mad mostly at myself today because I want to say that I feel like I let a lot of people down. 
and I know you can say the guy is, you know, I don't know if he's six foot six, but he's big and he's strong and he's mean and he's tough. He's but, all uh, right. Oh, well, that's true. I'll vouch for that. But I'm supposed to be the king, Lance. I'm supposed to be the good that overcomes all the evil, no matter how big and how mean and how tough it is. I just want to, I want to say this. I know I got a lot of fans out there. I realize that. And I want to, thank you. So I know, I know exactly how they're feeling right now, and I just want to say that, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people say, well, he's, he's on TV all the time. He's a, he's a, a celebrity or whatever. He's not a fan of anything, but I want the people to realize that I am just exactly like you are, and I have things that I like and things that I dislike, and I just want to tell a little story here in comparison. Something that happened to me earlier in the week, and I, if I just take, can I have just a minute yeah, of time here? Yeah, I just want to say, you know Lance, and I don't know if any of the people realize it, but uh, f people are fans of wrestling. I'm a big fan, just to tell a little story, I'm a big fan of the Cleveland Browns yep. football team. You know that. Mm -hmm. And I go to a lot of their football games in Cleveland and everywhere, watch them on TV, and I just want to say, last, last Sunday I was watching the football game. They're playing the Denver Broncos, and it was a game that Cleveland really needed to win to, uh, to uh, keep their playoff hopes alive the end of the game it was tied so they had to go into overtime and I'm sitting there watching it and Cleveland got the ball they're driving down the field and it looked like they're going in for a score and boy I was happy and I was excited and I was standing up on every play and uh, just when it looked like they're gonna score the winning touchdown one of the Cleveland players fumbled the ball Denver got it and a couple of plays later kicked a field goal and Cleveland right. Cleveland lost the game and I know I went at that time from being happy to being miserable just like that and, uh, uh, you know, I went out to eat later on the evening, and I, and I, uh, I went to a movie. But I really, you know, I really didn't enjoy it because my team had lost. And, I, you know, I, I saw the players' faces on the sidelines, and they all had their heads down, and especially the guy that fumbled the ball. You know, I felt bad for him because I knew how bad he was feeling. And at that time, I wished that, like, you know, I was wishing that maybe the cameras could go back in the locker room and you could see the players saying, you know, maybe one with a smile on his face or one saying, hey, the season's not over for us. We'll get them next week. But, of course, you know, the game was over and it just went to another show. And, uh, and I, I felt bad about it. And the next day, I was at the uh, box office of the Mid-South Coliseum. A little early, I went down. And uh, a little black lady came over to me. She saw me there. She came over and she said, uh, she said, King, don't, don't let them hurt you tonight because... I cry when you lose, and uh, I mean this, uh, that hit me like a shot because I realized at that moment that there's, there are people out there that, that care enough about me, Lance, that when I hurt, they hurt, and when I lose, they lose, and these are the people that, these are the people that put the food on my table, and these are the people that put the clothes on my back, and I, some, I, they're the people that take the time out of their schedule to watch me on TV or pay their hard-earned money to come to see me wrestle. And these are the people that I owe everything to, and these are the people, Lance, that I let down today by losing this match. Yeah. But what I can say, wait just a second, what, where I have the opportunity that the football players didn't have, I can sit here right now, thanks to you, and I can tell my fans that the season's not over and that there will be another day and what I want to do right now is I want to ask I'm not screaming and I'm not ranting and raving I want to ask Eddie Marlin that if this week if he will add another match to the card with the same stipulations me against the destroyer if I win I get Jimmy Hart in the ring then I want to tell If he'll, if he'll add that match, Lance, I just want to tell my fans that I won't let them down anymore and they won't be disappointed in me again. That's all I got to say. Well, okay, I Jerry. To to Eddie, I right? yeah. I'll have to, uh, of course, talk to Eddie about it and uh, we'll 